प्यार प्रभु जी मुझने के वो प्यारो ये तो साथ सुने छे मारो ये तो साथ सुने छे मारो जारे एने साध हूँ नाखू जारे एने साध हूँ नाखू कान दई ने सांभड़े मारो कान दई ने सांभड़े मार प्रभु जी मुझने के वो प्यारो प्रभु जी मुझने के वो प्यारो हूँ अटवायो मृत्यु जाड़े मैं पुकारो प्रभु ने त्यारे हूँ अटवायो मृत्यु जाड़े मैं पुकारो प्रभु ने त्यारे हे प्रभु जी बोले ने पुकारी मारा प्राण तुले ने बचावी मारा प्राण तुले ने बचावी प्रभु जी मुझे ने के वो प्यारो प्रभु जी मुझे ने के वो प्यारो Today's Mass is offered for the following intentions. For the good health of sick and old in our parish. For the soul of Carmo Fernandez, Mass offered by Leela Fernandez. For the soul of C.R. Joseph, Mass offered by family members. Thanksgiving Mass to Divine Mercy, Mass offered by Roshni and family. Thanksgiving Mass to Most Holy Trinity, Mass offered by Mohinder and family. For the soul of P.T. Sebastian, Mass offered by Susan Sebastian. For the soul of C.R. Joseph, Mass offered by Benny and family. For the soul of Karma Fernandez, Mass offered by Leela Fernandez. Month's Mind Mass for Mr. Xavier Fernandez, Mass offered by Alfred Fiona and family. For the soul of Vanessa Vergis, Mass offered by family members. For the soul of Kenny Ferrier, Mass offered by Greta and family. As for me, in justice, I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us thank the Lord for the gift of this new day. Thank the Lord for all the blessings that he has showered upon us. With a grateful heart, as we stand in front of this altar, let us place ourselves in the hands of the Lord and ask the Lord to bless us. Bless our work and bless our families. Let's also remember and pray for all the people, those who have asked us to pray for their various intentions. Pray for the people, those who are suffering on account of COVID-19. Pray for the departed souls of people who died on account of COVID-19. In order to celebrate this Eucharist in a worthy manner, let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Listen to the command of our God, your people of Gomorrah. What are your endless sacrifices to me, says the Lord? I am sick of holocaust of rams and the fat of calves the blood of bulls and of goats revolts me when you come to present yourselves before me who asked you to trample over my courts bring me your worthless offerings no more the smoke of them fills me with disgust new moons sabbaths assemblies I cannot end your festival and solemnity. Your new moons and your pilgrimages I hate with all my soul. They lie heavy on me. I am tired of bearing them. When you stretch out your hands, I turn my eyes away. You may multiply your prayers. I shall not listen. Your hands are covered with blood. Wash, make yourselves clean. Take your wrongdoing out of my sight. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. Search for justice. Help the oppressed. Be just to the orphan. Plead for the widows. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorious Sam, your response will be, I will show God's salvation to the upright. I will, I will show, show God's, God's salvation, salvation to the upright. I find no fault with your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I do not ask more bullocks from your farms, nor goats from among your herds. Response. I will show God's salvation to the upright. How can you recite my commandments and take my covenant on your lips? You who despise my law and throw my words to the winds. Response, I will, I will show, show God's God salvation to the upright. You do this and should, should I keep silence? Do you think that I am like you? A sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me, and I will show God's salvation to the upright. I, I will, will show God's, God's salvation, salvation to the upright. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our heart, O Lord, to accept the words of your Son. Alleluia. Cleanse my heart and my lips, Almighty God, that I may also proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the holy gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Chapter 10, verses 34 to chapter 11, verse 1. 
Jesus instructed the twelve as follows. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. It is not peace I have come to bring, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against his ma her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemy will be those of his own household. Anyone who prefers father or mother to me is not worthy of me. Anyone who prefers son or daughter to me is not worthy of me. Anyone who does not take his cross and follow in my footsteps is not worthy of me. Anyone who finds his life will lose it. Anyone he loses his life for my sake will find it. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me. And those who welcome me welcome the one who sent me. Anyone who welcomes a prophet because he is a prophet will have a prophet's reward. And anyone who welcomes a holy man because he is a holy man will have a holy man's reward. If anyone gives so much as a cup of cold water to one of these little ones because he is a disciple, then I tell you solemnly, he will most certainly not lose his reward. When Jesus had finished instructing his twelve disciples, he moved on from there to teach and preach in their towns. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sins. It is not peace I have come to bring, but a sword. When you hear this gospel passage, we wonder, because we all believe that Jesus has come to bring peace. But in this passage, he says, I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. What does it mean? How do we understand this? Jesus says, Because of me, people may fight one another. There may be division in the family, that is, son against father, or mother against daughter. Among family members, they may quarrel on account of because when you give first place in your life for the Lord, that can cause division in the family, or that can cause division in the community. But Jesus says, but we know that in the, according to the first commandment, I am the Lord your God. You shall not have no other God. God always looks first place. When we give a first place in our life for the Lord, He will take care of us. Therefore, when we are to stand for the Lord, then we also need to, the people may stay with us, may get offended. That causes division. That is why He says, I have because of me, people may fight one another. But we don't need to be afraid because we know for whom we stand for. We know for whom we give first place in our life. The first reading of today from the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah speaks of people, he is reminding people to return to the Lord. Leave the sinful ways and, and cease to do harm, cease to do evil and be kind to people, be kind to widows and follow the path of the Lord. He is inviting, reminding all of us to turn to the Lord. Therefore let us make an effort that yes, we follow the Lord in our life. We give first place in our life for the Lord. Always remember, it is not only the persons that we need and also the things that we give. Very often we are attached to things in our life. Maybe a mobile phone, maybe something else. You know, what are things which you are holding, the vehicle that which you are using it. Many things, anyway, things we may be attached to, people we may attach to. 
But Lord says, no. First place in your life should be of the Lord. It should be attached to the Lord. Which means you remain always a person of the Lord. That will change your life. And also remember that, yes, in your house, when you give first place for the Lord, maybe the picture of Jesus, where do you place it? For the crucifix, where do you place it? That matters. I remember once I visited a family where they have kept a beautiful musical instrument at the first room, the visiting room. And I asked them, from where did you get it? No, Father, this is my son got award from the office where he was working. So we placed it. Then I saw the crucifix of that house was kept in one side, one corner, and this musical instrument was placed in the first place. Whoever comes notices that. I told them, I think it is, I think the Jesus is the leader of this house. Jesus protects us. I think you should place Jesus' picture or the crucifix at the center of your house. Then you will experience protection of your house. Now, you, if you don't realize that, a good Catholic family has always places the picture of Sacred Heart at the main room. And they gather together and pray together. As a result, the family remains united and the peace the family experiences. Therefore, let us make a personal effort that, yes, in my life, I'll give first place to the Lord. That may cause division, that may cause separation, that may cause enmity, but yes, I know for what purpose I stand for. The values that I hold in my life. Adhanashma Sandeshma, Apne Sambhuli Kevirit Prabhuisu Dwara Loko Ek Bijaothe Jagra Kareshe. Prabhuisu Nel Jilide Gharma Ashanti Reshe. Prabhuisu Kaise Mara Lide Gharma Ashanti Hoi Tupan. Age Kimai Kimat Apne Bogu Pade. उसके लिए प्रभु इस ने खातर अपने दुख वेठू पड़े हेमा शर्म ने रखवानो अपने कहा उसे शाम आटे अपने प्रभु खातर उभाचे प्रभु ने नाम अपने लिए चे प्रभु ने नाम में अपने नाम लेवातीज अपना जीवन में एमनो आश्वाद मले जीवन में फेलु स्थान प्रभु ने आपवाती अपने प्रभु साथे अपने समेशा अपने याद करें प्रभु माटे अपना काम करिए छे प्रभु ना इच्छा प्रमाण अपन जीवन जीवाती अपना जीवन मा आशीषो मले कृपाओ मले तो खास एक ही तुम्हारे पास ना करिए जो जिंदा जीवन मा अपने जीवन अपना जीवन मा प्रभु ना माटे पहलू सनापिए ऐने सिवाय वस्तुओं मरे अपने सनापता होए तो व्यक्तियों मरे सनापता होए तो अपने प्रभु थी दूर प्रभु ना आज्ञा वो ने पालन करी ने साचा ईशु पंते रखिए अपने जीवन गालता होए तोच अपने जीवन मा प्रभु ना आश्वत मले तो खास आक्रिस्ते के अपने प्रार्थना करिए प्रभु ना प्रभु माटे अपने जीवा माटे प्रभु माटे अपने जीवन आत्म गरवा माटे प्रभु ने इस तरह चालवा माटे अपने कृपा अन्य आश्वत मागिए पिता अन्य पुत
जीव तर मारा पावन पावन थशे मारा ना मारा ना मारा ना मारा ना मारा ना मारा ना अर्पण करो शो तने अर्पण करो शो तने जे कहीं छे मारो तारो दिधेलो अर्पण करो शो तने अर्पण करो शो तने प्रे बुद्रन माय ब्रदर सैक्रिफाइस ऑन यू वर्स मे बी एक्सेप्टेबल टू गॉड द ऑलमाइटी फादर मे द लॉर्ड एक्सेप्ट द सैक्रिफाइस एट योर हैंड फॉर द प्रेज एंड ग्लोरी ऑफ हिज नेम for our good and good of all his holy church let us pray look upon the offerings of the church o lord as she makes her prayer to you and grant that when consumed by those who believe they may bring ever greater holiness through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god Right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord his death we celebrate in love his resurrection we confess with the living faith and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts Come and dear to all of your glory Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took a bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection and then you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the francis our pope regna swami our bishop and all the clergy Remember Carmo Fernandez C R Joseph P T Sebastian Vanessa Vergis Kenny Ferrier and also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other and the sign of peace. Peace be with you. May this mingling of this body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments, and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love and revere you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Lord, now permit me to be separated from you. Amen. परमेश्वर सद्बुद्धि तू प्रगटा अंधकार ने दूर करी ने ज्ञान निज्योत जला अंधकार ने दूर करी ने ज्ञान निज्योत जला हे परम पिता परमेश्वर मानव थई ने जन्म लिधो आमे मानवता शिक 
of covid-19 dear jesus divine physician and healer of the sick we turn to you in our time of need comfort with your grace those who are troubled alleviate our worry and sorrow with your gentle love and grant us the grace and the strength to face the covid-19 graciously restore those to health who have fallen ill and grant us the grace to acknowledge your holy will for you live and reign with the father and the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen go in peace to love and serve the lord thanks be to god